Once off to the North Pole, Santa and his helper Toy Boy are busy getting ready for Christmas Eve. Let's go inside the toy shop and see what surprises they have in store for us today. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-deer open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-deer open sleigh. Dashing through the snow in a one-deer open sleigh. Oh, the fields we go, laughing all the way. Wait a minute, what are we doing, toy boy? We're supposed to be talking to the boys and girls. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I was just warming up my vocal cords, getting ready, because the toy boy has once again persuaded me. He twisted my arm. Are you? He, what? Are you? Yes, don't you remember when you twisted my arm? No, I don't remember that. You don't remember that? No. <clears throat> well, I do. Uh, he said, uh, Santa, will you please, 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 please sing a song for us today? And, of course, I finally, after very much, very much persuading by Toy Boy... Wait, you don't remember? You don't remember that, huh? I don't remember that. <clears throat> well, uh, anyhow, I think I will sing a song today, Toy <coughs> Boy. But uh, before I do that, I want to put this little automobile up here and have you test it for me. See if it goes all right. Oh, Toy Boy, what did you do now? You went to the big world. Well, oh, this was just an example. This was just a test. Yes, they went to three. This was just a test. Hello, hello. Only a test. I'm going to see if I can find where the little car went, and it's right over here on the floor. That's a tough little car, Toy Boy. Yes, it's a tough and that was part of the testing, was to see if it would handle the fall. You push it up here. Yeah. How did you do that? <laughs> and it bounces right off. Bing, it's a bing, tough bing. one for the little boys and girls, Toy Boy. Yes, I'll go over here and pick it up again and see and show you that it's all right. Nothing broken. I don't think an elephant could step on that and break that. <laughs> Anyhow, we'll put it right there and let's see. Oh, it's time for the mail, Toy Boy. Time for the mail. Uh, wait a minute. Wait just a moment. Come back here. Come back here. Turn around. Open your arms. Look at that, boys and girls, look at that. Can you see what that pin is on his tie today? That's a picture of who would you think but Santa Claus. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Toy Boy. That's so nice of you. Just for that, here's the mail for today, Toy Boy. Thank you. All right, if you would... Wait a minute, that isn't the way... No, Ooh. you're supposed to bring mail to me, aren't you? You're supposed to bring the mail to me. Well, may I have that bundle back? Yes, bring me back that bundle and go get some more mail, if you would, please. Thank you, thank you. Now, go get me some more mail. A handful of mail will do. Just a handful of mail will make the... Mm -hmm. All right, let's see where some of this is from. Bueller, Kansas. There's one from Bueller and one here from Salina. And one from McPherson, Kansas. And here's one that's upside down from Dodge City, Kansas. And here is one from Pratt, Kansas and Harper, Kansas and uh, Emporia, Kansas, and Hayesville, Kansas, and Valley Center, Kansas. <clears throat> toy Boy, you are being quiet while I... Um, you didn't move a muscle, did you, Toy Boy? Must be a strong little breeze in here. Must be a very strong little breeze. <laughs> Valley Center, Kansas, and Clearwater, Kansas. Clearwater. Clearwater. Hutchinson, Kansas. What? Wellington... What was that, Toy Boy? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, I see. Well, let's see. All right, we'll look over here. And here's one from Wichita, Kansas. And Tawanda, Kansas. And uh, Abilene, Kansas. And uh, Mineola, Kansas. And here is one from Lyons, Kansas. Well, a lot of letters from fine boys and girls. And now then, please go get your little slate, Toy Boy. We're going to tell you how many days there are until Christmas, and we'll subtract one from that and then tell you how many nights until we take our flight. And look at that, boys and girls. Oh, to can that be right? Three. 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 More. 
Days from today Jeez. is Christmas. Oh, that means only two more nights. Hold that two fingers, Toy Boy. Better than that, hold that two hands. Jeez. Yes, only two more Jeez. nights Jeez. until Toy Boy and Santa Jeez. and Rudolph. Jeez. Oh, pardon me. I'm sorry. And the eight tiny reindeer. Jeez. And all the toys for the girls and boys will jump into the sleigh. Jeez. And we will go zooming around the big wide world. Zooming and zooming and zooming. And that means, Toy Boy, that there aren't many more times the boys and girls can zoom with us this year. Are you quite through? Have you finished zooming? We finished. I'm, I'm very grateful because if you zoomed much longer, I wouldn't have time you wherever you are, so don't worry about it. I want to read you a little poem that is also a story. It's entitled A Letter to Santa. Toy Boy, listen carefully now. And this uh, is for you boys and girls. I'll give you a pointer, Willie, said Tommy the other day. If you want certain things at Christmas, you'd better try my way. It's easy and very simple, and always works, for I have tried it many and many a time as Christmases go by. Write Santa Claus a letter in your very bestest hand, and give him a list of things you want. Don't matter at all how grand. And then when the letter is written, just take it to dear old dad and ask if he thinks the spelling and writing is awful bad. I once wrote a letter to Santa and sent it off right away, and not a thing I asked for was sent on Christmas Day. But the letter I showed to Daddy to see if it was written right brought everything I wanted the following Christmas night. I don't know just how he knew it, but Dad knows a thing or two about how old Santa should be addressed by children like me and you. <laughs> Isn't that a nice little poem, Toy Boy? <laughs> Now, I think it's time for Cindy. You know, she was on a little early yesterday, wasn't she? Or was that Friday? Whenever that was. Anyhow, let's find out what she's up to today. One, two, three. You know, it's a good thing our snow freezes up here so we can walk on it. We added 10 inches over the weekend. And we now have 50 inches of snow on the ground. That's silly. Of course it's on the ground. Where else would it be? Anyhow, today is the day Mrs. Santa goes to the dentist and the reindeer go to their doctor. Hope everything's okay. Now it can be told, one day last week, two of Santa's helpers, who shall remain numberless, got into a paint-throwing argument at the toy shop and dumped all the purple and pink paint. You hadn't heard about it? It just leaked out today. It held up the painters two days. Also at the helper's spelling bee last week, there was no winner. So be sure to check the spelling on all the toys you get this Christmas. See if you find their mistakes. I gotta go. Bye. And goodbye to you, Cindy Snowflake. Ooh. Toy Boy, this Ooh. has reached the point of crisis. Ooh. We must get over there and talk to her. How does she find out all these things about our dates with the dentist and with the doctors and about the helpers getting into the little paint fight they had and all of those things? How in the world does she find out? We don't know either. Well, I don't know either. But we're going to get to the bottom of this. We're going to find out, boys and girls. Yes, we will. Stay tuned because we are going to find out. We're going to be super sleuth. Would you wipe your chin, please? Thank you. What's a super sleuth toy boy? We're gonna be Sherlock Holmes. We're gonna be a detective. Oh, We're gonna I find out the truth. Now, didn't Sherlock Holmes have a, a special man that helped? Yes, Doctor It's So Facto. Doctor It's So Facto. That's the no, 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 no. No. No, I don't think that's the doctor. No, I think that's getting closer. Reindeer doctor. 
The reindeer doctor. <laughs> well, boys and girls, uh, we'll, we'll ponder that for a moment, and you come back and we'll see if we can think of Dr. Watson's name, all right? What, toy boy? Why were your fingers in your ears? Oh, I'm sorry. I was I was getting uh, warmed up. I was vocalizing, getting ready to sing my song. Now, if you would go in and get the helpers out of there, please, and let the, tell them to get out of there because Santa's coming in to sing. If, if they'd like to, if they'd like to stand. If they'd like to. If they. Thank you, helpers. Uh, tell them if they would like to sit over there, toy boy, and and uh, sit there while I'm singing and be entertained by one of the great singers of all time. Oh, I'm not going to sing to thee, Sammy. Huh? I'm not going to sing to thee. No, I meant me, toy boy, not oh. you. Well, I... All right, well, <clears throat> it, it is time. Uh, I'm going to sing a song that I think is familiar to all of you, and I hope it is familiar to me, too. So, without further ado, as they say in showbiz, toy boy, um, are you ready, Elves Orchestra? There's Mary and Janet and Johnny and Sue and Billy and Bobby and Georgie and you. I hope you've all been good boys and girls and you'd better watch out, better not cry, better not pout, I'm telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town. I'm making a list and checking it twice, gonna find out who's naughty and nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. I see you when you're sleeping. I know when you're away. I know if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. Better not cry. Better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. With little tin horns and little toy drums, Rudy Toot Toots and Rubby Tum Tums, Santa Claus is coming to town. And curly head dolls that toddle and coo, elephants, boats, and kitty cars too, Santa Claus is coming to town. The kids in girl and boy land will have a jubilee. They're gonna build a toy land town all around the Christmas tree. Watch out, better not cry, better not pout, I'm telling you why, Santa Claus is coming to town, I see. So be good for goodness sake, oh, you better watch out, better not cry, better not pout, I'm telling you why, Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody, Merry Christmas. <laughs> I thank you for that great ovation, Toy Boy. Thank you for any time now you can stop applauding, Toy Boy. You don't have to be quite that profuse in your compliments, Toy Boy. No, Toy Boy, uh, any time you want to, uh, no, you can just quiet down, Toy Boy. Quiet down. I don't think you have to make quite that much noise. I know you appreciate my singing, but you do not have to show me. No, you, Toy Boy, have been a friend of mine so very, very long. You do not have to keep applauding and keep talking and raving about the way I sing my songs. You do not have to do that at all, Toy Boy. I think I'll go over and see what's behind the super secret surprise. Me. Well, Mrs. Claus likes to hear me sing, whether Toy Boy does or not. <laughs> Let's see here. Here we have, oh, look.
look at that. Look at that. What a race you could have with that, right, Toy Boy? Oh, yes, my goodness. Yeah. Well, it seems that we, we may have to stop singing all together, boys and girls, because we seem to get into controversy every time we do. Another toy has been finished, and here it comes. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. That's going to spread a lot of things around over the field there. <laughs> and it goes backwards and forwards. And it's pretty, too, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to go into the, uh, the other room, Toy Boy. I'm going into the other room, and I'm going to talk to the boys and girls for just a moment. Because we haven't done that very much. There we are. We haven't had a chance to really visit today, boys and girls. And I wanted to visit with you again about something that's very, very important to Santa and to Toy Boy. And that is the real, true meaning of Christmas time. We want to remind you that Santa and Toy Boy merely represent the spirit of giving. That's all. We are just the spirit of giving. The real giving, the real spirit was given a long time ago to the entire world. That's the real true meaning of Christmas. And we always like to remind you, don't we, Toy Boy, that they should have their mothers and daddies read to them the real true Christmas story as they would like for them to understand it. And of course, you can find the true Christmas story in the Holy Bible in several different places. There's so much more to Christmas than just toys and trees. It all goes together. The music, the singing, the trees, the decorations, the parades, the toys, the food, the get-together, the family, and all of these things together, Toy Boy. Put them all together, they spell Christmas. <laughs> Even the helpers are a part of Christmas. And oh, we have so many helpers, not just the ones here at the toy shop, but all around the world we have helpers all the time helping, all year long, doing things for other people. Boys and girls, I hope that you understand what we're talking about. It isn't how much you have to eat all the time or how many presents you get at Christmas time. It's always more blessed to give than to receive. That's a hard lesson to learn sometimes. Isn't it, Toy Boy? Well, I hope you have a very good weekend, and we'll do the same. I hope. <laughs> we'll see a lot of you boys and girls over the weekend. Bye bye. Bye bye, boys and girls. <laughs> bye bye.